the project name and what you're going to be doing is this. So my name is Sherry Schultz. So my initials are SS. I have no choice. I need to do S. Okay? So um, does everybody else have two different letters? Um, yeah. No, my middle name is E-E-D. Oh, okay. But we're, we're not doing middle names, just beginning or last, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and this is based off of medieval transcripts. The illuminated letter was usually an important letter. It was the first letter. It was quite fancy and sometimes had um, gold leafing to it, okay? And uh, usually it would reflect something that might happen in the story you're about to read. Or if it was a Bible, something to do with whatever that passage was about. Okay, you're gonna kinda do the same thing. The illuminated letter is gonna be about you. It's kind of like a little self-portrait, so to speak, okay? So, looking at mine, can you tell three things about me? Give me one thing, go ahead. I like shells. I like shells, okay, that's true. You like cats? I like cats, I love cats. I've never not had a cat. Right now we have two cats. Charlotte and Millie, and they're fat and happy. One will love you to death, and the other one only likes me. <laughs> All right, go ahead. You like to paint? I love to paint. I'm an art teacher, right? So I have, I have a palette, and I have some brushes. Okay, what else? Um, you like the ocean? I love the ocean. Yep, my happy place is the beach. I actually got married on the beach down in Key West. Mm -hmm. And uh, even though I'm a redhead, it is definitely my happy place, even though I have much equipment to be able to be on the beach. All right, yes. Oh, I didn't raise my hand. Oh, okay, I thought you were raising your hand. All right, so I incorporated those things. Um, at least three things, right? What else do you notice about the space I used? The, yes. That the letter takes up most of the space. Exactly, the letter takes up most of the space. You wanna make it large and in charge. That's what you're basing it off of, right? The project is illuminated letter, right? Letter is supposed to be the superstar. What else do you notice about my letter? Can you see? What else do you notice about my letter? Anybody not answer yet? There's a sun? Yeah, a sunset and all. But what do you notice about the letter itself? Yes. It's not colored. Hmm? It's not colored. Well, I didn't finish yet. You're right. It's not colored. <laughs> it, like the drawings, like the, um, like the cats are like, in like the letter. Exactly. Like, so like my palm tree is making up the middle part of my S and my kitties are making up the ends of the S, right? So you can make your letter incorporate those things about you or you could choose to just do your letter and have things attached to it or around it, right? But you want to think about your space. You want to fill up your space. Um, another thing you want to think about are fonts. Are you familiar with fonts? Mm -hmm. Where could you check them out google docs google docs so you can put in your initials and just keep changing the font until you find one that really just speaks to you right are we good all right so your first step is to make two designs two different blocks right incorporating things about you don't do the same things right um think about fonts think about if you're going to make your letter up with your things about you or if they're going to be around it. Think about your space, okay? And then later as we get started with clay and we have breaks, I'll, I'll have like little watercolor demos and we already did the color pencil color blending demo, right? And we'll talk about Sharpies and guess what I have that you're just going to love? Metallic Sharpies, okay? So that'll bring in the illuminated part too, okay? Any questions? Yes. What? When are we gonna? So we just. What are the two templates? Like, is it gonna be the first name and the last name? Or you. That's your choice. You could do maybe. What are your initials? E D. E D. So maybe you just really love the letter E. You could do two E's, or you could do one of each. It's really up to you.